Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill, the main event for UFC 300. Oh, 9-2 for Alex Pereira, 4-1 uh, his last five fights, obviously losing and getting knocked out by Israel Adesanya. Minus 150 underdog, 36 years old, 6-4 with an 80-inch reach. Fighting Jamal Hill, who's 12-1, coming off of an Achilles injury where he had to re relinquish his title. 4-1 in his last five fights. Again, beating Glover Teixeira for the tighter, title a little over a year ago. Plus 125 underdog, 32 years old. 6-4 with a 79-inch reach. 1-inch reach advantage for Pereira. Obviously, the more technical striker is Pereira. Obviously. He's tighter, he, he's he's better. He does keep his hands low, and again, his chin's weird. His chin's weird. Yuri was connecting on him. Izzy's hurt him in every time they fought in every single match. Watch it, you don't believe me. Watch it. Can't lie, in the first round, he almost finishes. Pereira, come on. All you haters out there, ridiculous. I don't see a version of Pereira that beats Jamal Hill. Unless he's able to just catch him which jamal hills fought a lot of dangerous guys maybe maybe not as dangerous as Pereira technically but he's fought some good guys some very very good guys and people sleep on his power for some reason the biggest x-factor question in this matchup is is his achilles injured uh healed or injured you know anything like that because Pereira's is going to be kicking his legs and he kicks his legs too much that's going to be night night that, that that's the reality that is the reality but i think jamal hill put put the pressure on Pereira. goes immediately right at him weird stance that he always has and starts getting him against that cage and letting loose on some combinations i think that's what happens like yuri was doing until he got caught i don't think jamal hill plays that game to where he gets too close he punches long, even though he only has a 79, only he's at one inch dis, uh, reach disadvantage. He throws weird, throws at weird angles. I think he sleeps Alex Pereira, maybe dies this hype down. Just just a tid, just a tad. What he's done has been incredible, but he's also had favorable matchups. He had a rushed uh, uh, run at the title because of his background with Izzy. I like Jamal Hill. I think he gets his title back. As always, guys, this one's going to be controversial. Same, probably same with the last one. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me go. Oh, before we get out of here, something I thought was a bit interesting. Strikes landed per minute. Five for Pereira. 7.31 for Hill. Striking accuracy, 62 for 54. Absorbed, 3.65 to 3.35 for Hill. 3.65 for Pereira. F defense is 50 to 47. Um, the, the, the takedowns average is damn near nothing for either. Accuracy is 100%. Defense is 70 to 73. Not any really submissions at all. This is going to be wild. 11 minutes and 12 seconds average fight time for Pereira. 9.14 for Jamal Hill. Either way, this fight is going to be a finish. Like I said, I have Jamal Hill by devastating flatlining knockout on Alex Pereira getting his title back. And as always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.